to this first grade lesson, which is comparing, using subtraction, and this is part two. We are using the words fewer or more. And let's get to this lesson. Beside me are my friends Jerry and Barry. Jerry has five apples. Barry has four. How many more apples does Jerry have than Barry? Jerry has one, two, three, four, five apples. Barry has one, two, three, four apples. As we can see here, we see that Jerry has more apples than Barry. And we clearly see it's one more. We can also say that Barry has one fewer apple than Jerry. So the difference between these two guys' apples is one. Five minus four is one. That's the difference between these two. Barry has one fewer, Jerry has one more. Um, oh, okay, let's do another one then. Jerry has one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven apples. Barry has one, two. How many more apples does Jerry have than Barry? Jerry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Barry, one, two. Just looking at this, we can clearly see that Jerry has five more apples than Barry. Or we could also say it as Barry has five fewer apples than Jerry. Seven of Jerry minus the two of Barry shows us a difference of five. There are five apples between them. There are five apples is the difference between them. Mike and Julia have eight toys together. Mike has two fewer toys than Julia. Five toys in the bunch belong to Julia. How many toys belong to Mike? Think about this one. Mike and Julia have eight toys together. So together they have eight. Mike has two fewer toys than Julia. Five toys in the bunch belongs to Julia. How many toys belong to Mike? So, thinking carefully, what do we need to find? We need to find how many toys belong to Mike. What information are we given to help us solve this? Well, we're told that they have eight toys all together. So that's eight toys all total together. And we're told that Mike has two fewer toys than Julia. And we're also told that five toys in the bunch belongs to Julia. So how do we do this? Well, we're told that Julia has five. Five toys belong to Julia. So out of all these eight toys, I know five of them belong to Julia. So I will just rearrange these five and these five will represent Julia. And I see that I only have three left. And that's for Mike. Hmm, this makes sense. Because it says Mike has two fewer toys than Julia. If Mike has three. And Julia has five. There is a two toy difference. Between Mike and Julia. Five. Minus 3 is equal to 2. Just by looking at this picture, we can clearly see that Mike has 3 toys. And that's our answer. How many toys belong to Mike? It's 3. And we clearly see that he does have 2 fewer than Julia. And so that is the answer. Thanks for watching. Bye!